Hello? Is this thing still work? Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Oh man. It's been a little while since we had our since we had a moment. So I'm sorry that I haven't been regularly providing something to you guys. There's a lot of you now. There's like 600 Oh, remember back in the days when there were only 100 subscribers? Mm, I've come so far. <laughs> I have to do a 600 mile week. Ah! I'm still running a ton. Um, what I've actually been doing, the reason I haven't been here, like kind of like making content is because I've, I've been like moving and like traveling. Um, so I left Asia in, in July and then, then you guys saw I was, in, I was in Paris and then I went to Morocco and then I was in Ireland and then I actually went back to the States to get a visa for France, which is where I am right now. I'm in Paris I'm a, and, I, and I live here, like I'm officially a Parisian. Um, it's magnificent. Do you guys wanna see? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Yes, look at all of that Paris. There's a church there, like a French rooftop there. It's really great. There's like a Paris, like a Paris sky there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like little, little Paris rooftops there. It's great. So yeah, so I'm finally actually living here like full time. I have like an apartment. My little place is where I get my plant. I've got like a visa, so I'm here. Like I'm not a tourist. Like it's actually like I'm actually like a resident now. It's fantastic. Now the process to do that was a little, like a little, um, well I had to like give up a bit of my sanity to do it, to get like an apartment and a visa and like with the traveling, all this stuff, like the time zone shifts and oh my God. Maybe in a future video I'll have an episode just about kind of like uh, the bureaucratic stuff with like getting set up in France as a foreigner, which can be difficult if you're not from Europe. And so with that, so with all the traveling and like the moving and kind of like the, the, the general displacement, it was kind of tough for me to kind of get in a space where I felt creative to like make stuff, make fun stuff, make creative videos for you guys. This is kind of like a fun little artistic thing for me and I have to be in a right kind of space but it's good news now, so I feel really good. I feel stable, I feel grounded, everything's like going really well, and yeah, I'm gonna start making videos again, like every week. So I think about every Friday is gonna be my goal to have like one video a week for you guys. Um, I'll kind of work on it during the week, like after work and stuff, and then, and then I'll release it on Friday, and then it'll just kind of be like a little thing we do. So yeah, so I'm sorry for the uh, sporadic upload schedule and kind of the big delays and times between videos, but uh, I'm sure you guys understand, like, you know, there's life that we all have to live, and um, I am not a professional YouTuber yet, so the, so I have to kind of make sure, so there's a lot of stuff I kind of have to make sure aligns in the background, on the back end, to make sure, you know, I can just kind of, I have time and energy and space for this. So, there is that now, which is fantastic. So I think my plan is to have a release schedule of once a week on Fridays. So I can kind of film on the weekends and during the week and edit during the week. And then on Fridays, I'll kind of release a little bit. And the idea is like, it all, like it's always been, it's to kind of have a little like running nugget of gold for you guys. Just like a bit of useful information, practical advice, suggestion, like, it could be from my mistakes or my failures in the past or my successes in the past. Um, and I'll try and frame it as always in like a very like uh, practical, pragmatic, logical, scientific way that's hopefully kind of unbiased. I mean, it's biased in the way that like, I mean, I believe in science. Uh, so there's that. So I'll forever be biased against voodoo magic. I'm so sorry, voodoo magic health practitioners out there. That's it, so um, so after this video, which will be on a Saturday or Sunday, try to expect a video every Friday. And to set myself up for success, I've already filmed the video that I'm releasing next Friday, so I, I don't have any excuses to not, to not upload it. Like, I'm starting ahead of schedule. Usually, like, when I start some kind of thing, um, I'm always, like, a day behind schedule or something, so it doesn't make any. Anyway, so I'm setting myself up for success. Also, you may have been curious because a few, a few times I mentioned my marathon goal of running a 239. I think I've mentioned it here. I ran 10 minutes slower, 12 minutes slower than I wanted to. I think here as well. This year at the uh, Paris Marathon in April, my goal is to run a 239. In my last marathon last year, boop, I did not run a 239. I ran a two. 52, much to my chagrin, considering I had a month of altitude training <sighs> immediately before 
Well, you guys, I ran a marathon two weeks ago. The Paris Marathon. Mm. Biggest curious of the time is, you wanna know? It was a, it was a, it, it was a two, no wait, uh, I should make this like really, I should make this more dramatic, shouldn't I? <laughs> Two, just to set up the appropriate amount of drama, previous personal best, two hours, 52 minutes. Now, The goal was 239. 249. I know. But officially a 240 something marathoner. Was that uh was that dramatic enough? I actually had to go out and buy a marker for them. Apparently I don't have any markers in my apartment. So officially a 240 something marathoner, a, a fantastic time. I, I and I'm, I'm happy with it for now cause it's like a PR by like three minutes, but I really genuinely feel like I can run faster. Like I really didn't have a very good race and I'll talk about it later, but like, like I ran a good race. Like I ran negative splits, which was really cool. And the second half of the race was like three or four minutes faster than the first, but I just didn't feel strong and powerful and like like I usually do. And my, my, my racing pace was so much slower than my training pace. And I, and I kind of like don't understand why, but I actually kind of do understand why. Like I think I took, like I can talk about another video, but I think I took too big of a taper. Like, like I rested too much, which I know sounds crazy, but if you go kind of like mess with your schedule, it can like kind of affect how you feel and like your water content and weight and kind of mentality and all this crazy stuff. Anyways, but it's been about almost about two weeks to the day. It'll be two weeks tomorrow. Um, I'm running again now, which is fantastic. I took seven days totally off and in run a step. The most I did was like do bi like short bike rides through the city because I live in Paris now and it's gorgeous here. But I didn't run for a week. So now I'm running again and I kind of feel, I feel like I have my legs back. This last week was actually really weird. I had some crazy muscle stuff, like super bad muscle damage from the race. Talk about it in another video. So that's what's been going on with, with me and my running. And that's kind of like my most recent race. And I really do want to run another marathon again sooner rather than later. I, I do want to run Berlin. So I'm trying to kind of put a group together to, to race that in the fall, but even registration's already closed. I have to figure out a way to do that. But I might run another marathon before then just to kind of if I'm feeling healthy and I'm feeling spry. If not, then I'll probably race some five or 10 Ks um, so that I'm not neglecting my speed and kind of like the fast twitch part of the part of the running, um, the faster part of um, running. So again, just a quick recap and, and uh, not to kind of belabor the point, but you know, I am sorry for kind of being sporadic with uploads, but it genuinely is stressful. Like, well, one like traveling kind of for a living, like, like being on the road and not really feel like being able to go anywhere, but really kind of being present nowhere, if that makes sense with like your friends and kind of your home base and stuff. But everything's cool now. Like I've been here for about two months. I'm like speaking French now. It's not far from perfect, but I'm like kind of like integrating into the culture. I have an apartment, I have like good friends. I kind of have my little routine and my schedule and stuff. And I feel so, honestly, I feel fantastic. I'm gonna make it a kind of goal for myself to upload once a week, which I think is completely doable. And it'll be a nice little bit of content for you, fun for me, um, educational for you guys as well, as usual, running edutainment. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll still be traveling as well. So I'll be able to kind of upload stuff from the road, which is kind of cool. So hopefully I kind of bring you guys tastes of different countries and cultures and stuff. With that, so for future uploads, it would be fantastic uh, if you guys had any kind of recommendations or suggestions, I mean. Um, so feel free in the comments to say, hey Jake, it would be great to talk about this, you know, um, this subject, this topic. 
let us know. And whenever I do get a suggestion like that, I'll do my best to kind of do a bit of research and kind of bring you guys like a nice kind of neutral opinion so you guys can make your own decisions, but like an educated decision, which is kind of the whole point with the channel. Um, and I'll provide my perspective. And if there's anything I could learn from my personal experience, then I'll provide that as well. But going forward, please, you know, give me suggestions or ideas on kind of what you want to hear about. Um, if not, that's cool too. I'll just kind of like kind of bloop, 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 kind of uh, pull what I think would be fun and interesting and I'll share it with you guys. <sighs> All right, so that is it for today and it feels so nice to present something to you guys and uh, keep an eye out next Friday for the next upload. And until next time, I will see you guys later. All right, bye.